okay guys let's talk a little bit about the rainforest food web and uh, the important thing about rainforest food web because rainforest is uh, the place for biodiversity because it is uh, filled with the trees i mean filled with natural habitat and uh, it is getting the rain all the time that means constant supply of water which actually supports life so uh, it's a very very beautiful place for life to grow and ultimately produce more and more varieties so let's talk about the rainforest ecosystem in, in detail so here we come at the very basic level of in any part of the food web and food chain they are the producers so we got the producers here producers producer mean plants here right from brazilian nut tree or you know strangler fig tree kapok tree so these are the large trees and you know in rainforest you will see trees uh, 100 feet uh, 150 feet huge uh, trees always present there and uh, they are so green in the top and the bottom it's it's even so much tall trees and filled with leaves and branches even uh, sunlight cannot actually hit the ground of rainforest region that's a remarkable thing now the second line of uh, other individuals uh, those are the primary consumers you know like any food wave and food chain there will be producers primary consumers then there will be secondary consumers so here comes the primary consumers in all these cases for example you know orchid actually live on kapok tree for example right and that's that's the fund of orchids here and directly if we look at here that token is uh, placing itself in this brazilian nut tree right and also it is depending upon the strangler fig tree agouti is also depending on nut tree because they feed on nuts so these are the the primary uh, consumer system but it will go on because you know there are ants leaf cutter ants they rely on this orchid for their survival for example orang otan they can also take this orchid for their survival right beetle it also take this orchid for their survival so you know this is a chain this is a food wave that is going on and, and all this food wave it means that we are not alone right we need someone else because this is a whole chain this is a wave it is connected if one part of the wave is fall is getting any fall it the whole wave uh, will be just shattered so that's why pres preservation of biodiversity is very very important for example you know if orchid is gone in that case ant will not get anything to feed for beetle will, will not get anything orangutan will not get something to feed on so you can see here it is very much very much very very much dependent because you know producer level it's obviously important because they are the producer of food but also in the primary consumer level and secondary consumer level it is important right and it is also important in the tertiary consumer level because we will be going there very soon now uh, let's say here uh, this is the top level uh, part comes down from here you know uh, this this red eaved tree frog they again eat on to this ants they take down this ants over there right and uh, if we look at here let's let's put some other huge predators there and here we come the large predators of the place and now we know now we know that this token the simon will eat this token it's a kind of version of you know reptile it's a dangerous reptile they can feed on the token and jaguar can also take token right jaguar can take this frog it can take this actually it's not a favorite food for them but they can take this gold lion can take ants because they feel love to feed on ants there and tiger can take orangutan right and this eagle can take gold lion tamarind right so you can see here these are the higher highest level predators there so these are the tertiary consumer tertiary consumer and their highest level predators and if you look at here that if this some of these highest level predators are removed from this system for example let's say tiger if tiger is removed what what will happen the population of orangutan will suddenly start to rise and that will not be a good sign there right 
Similarly, if let's say there is no agouti or there is no token there, as a result, Simon or Jaguar will not get certain food to eat, and again Jaguar can feed on to this reptile. So these are all connected like this. So if we drag, it's just like a pack of you know cards. If we just take out a pack of cards, if we take out one or two cards from the bottom, the whole stack will shatter. That's what the food wave is all about. That's what the ecosystem is all about. We are going to see different type of food waves, rainforest, desert ecosystem, arctic food wave. In all the food waves, this message is common that we all are connected and that's what is called about the ecosystem and ecology. We all are connected somehow, directly or indirectly. So if the tiger population falls, it is a loss for us, right? If the eagle population falls, again loss for us, right? So these are all linked and obviously if the producer falls, everything will be just, just, they will just shatter, they will just go away because if the producer is not there, nobody will be there to provide the first food source. So everybody will die. So the most important role is played by producers, but based on that producer, the ultimate hierarchy is built up. That is the primary consumer, secondary consumer, tertiary consumer, something like that. Right? 